Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA. Hi, welcome to Quilty. I'm Mary Fonz, and this is a This Is My Quilt episode with Latanya Brody. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's very exciting how we got to know each other. We got to know each other on Facebook. I put out a call, I said, we want guests to show their quilts, and you responded. Yeah, it was kind of ironic, because yeah. I hardly ever go to Facebook. Right. But sometimes, I work in a hospital, don't okay. tell my boss. Okay. Sometimes <laughs> when it gets slow, I'll get on the internet. We all and do I it. Found we the, all do. I found the call out, yeah. and I responded, hey, pick me, I'm in Chicago. Yep. And then when I got the, do you really want to do it, I was so excited, yeah. I didn't know what to do. We are very happy that you're here because, well, for many reasons, but your quilt is a memory quilt, and we haven't had one of these on the show yet. So. I'm just going to ask you to tell me, you know, how you, when you made it and, and what inspired it. So, so tell me, when, when did you make the quilt? I made the quilt last year, so that would be 2012. Every year I have one like big project or dream project. Yeah. So toward the end of 2011, I said I want to make a memory quilt. Mm -hmm. Me and I, my siblings, we lost our parents about eight years ago. Okay. So the quilt wasn't just for me, it was for our whole family. Right. Something where my own kids, my grandkids, and my nieces and nephews could kind of like have forever. Absolutely. Like just a collection of pictures, because all of a sudden, I became the camera buff in the family, so I'm the <laughs> one who got all the pictures. Right, so. right. and you wanted to make this uh, commemorative quilt for your parents, right? Yes. And this is, this is them here on their wedding day, correct? That's exactly right. After my father died and we had to clean out his apartment, we're not going to tell you what a big deal that was, <laughs> Gosh, I so. found a lot of his photos. So this is a photo mm -hmm. of my parents when they got married. It's awesome. So I like scanned it into my computer. I wasn't 100% sure mm -hmm. how it was going to turn out. And then I printed it a couple of times until I was like happy with it. So, so. I was going to ask you how you did it because there's all kinds of ways to do photos now. But you did it at home on your laser printer? Is I that did, did it at home on my laser printer. Okay. When I was planning the thing, I also did research to see what laser printer yeah. they thought was best so like at the end of 2011 that was my Christmas present oh, to cool. myself I got the laser printer started playing with it just went to Joann's and bought mm -hmm. all the different fat you know fabrics that you could put in a laser printer right. and found which which one worked best for me these are pictures of your whole family with your folks in the center uh, and I love how you managed to do the quilting can you tell me about about that just like I told you before, mm -hmm. I like my projects to be all me. Yeah. So I actually quilted it on a long arm myself. I don't own a long arm, long arm mm -hmm. but there's a shop in the western suburbs so that'll let you rent long arm time. So, so I went there, I took a lesson, and actually this is one of the first quilts that I quilted on a long arm. The day I went, I took like two quilts with me and it took me like four or five hours to do the two quilts. Did you have fun? Isn't long arming fun? It's, it's, an, it's not easy, but it's, I think it's real fun. Well, the thing is, I have a machine that has the really deep throat, yeah. so I had already got pretty proficient with doing sure. free motion quilting on my machine sure. at home. But you know, sometimes your arms get tired, yeah. your shoulders get tired. So I'm like, well, I'll try long arm. And this so is big. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you know, it's yeah a this big was quilt. big. Yeah. For some of the bigger quilts, it's really hard to do on your own machine because mm -hmm. you're fighting for space. You gotta roll so, it up. I put yeah. it on my shoulder. It's like a whole body process. <laughs> I know, I know. So, so you didn't want to quilt over the faces, which makes perfect sense. So you kind of worked around them. Yeah, I tried to shadow around the faces. At the same time, I was trying to make sure that the quilt didn't get too lumpy or anything. Yeah, yeah. So I was a little concerned about that, yeah. but... Yeah, it's hard to kind of work. I mean, you want to keep the picture nice and, and still yeah. get it down. I, I think you did a great job. And the fabrics, you said you're inspired by, is it color that in, that makes you want to, you know, like, the, did you think I want red, black, and white, and then you just got a lot of fabrics? Or? Exactly. Okay. I had decided, and I don't know where the red and black and white came from, but I, I just decided red and black, trying to pull some colors yeah, yeah, out of yeah. the one only color photo on there. And that's the last photo of my parents together. So what I did was, 
I shop online a lot, yeah. so I just ordered red and black, red sure, and black, sure. red and black, red and black, until I found something that I was comfortable with. Yeah. This one fabric right here isn't exactly red or black, but I just really liked it. It's it like works. medallions, and yeah. I had to figure out how can I throw this in here. And I, it made a nice border to border some of the pictures. So. It did, it did. And I like, like, you don't have to be a math whiz. Like, I'm not, I'm not a math whiz when it comes to, you know, figuring out the, um, the seam allowances and the, if you're putting blocks together that are different sizes, like inset seams and stuff can be hard for me. Um, what you did is you kind of, you put in patches to make up the space in between the photos. You know, you you just sort of made it work, you right. know, with, with scraps and patches, which is, that's how I would do it too. Probably. Right, because a quilt pattern was not my own. It was right. a pattern that I adopted. Yeah. So the middle was what I had to figure out. Yeah. How can I get the middle the right size? Right. And most photos are like five by seven or eight right. by 10. So when you try to square a photo or do something else with it, it could get a little tricky. So you write. I decided to put the borders yep. around some of the pictures to make the center fit. So the center was the hardest part. Absolutely, and I've done that too, where I had rectangles. Rectangles are really hard to work with. Um, there was something interesting you, you told me about, you were gonna pass the quilt around to the family members, but some of them are smokers. Yeah, some of my siblings unfortunately smoke. Yeah. So the idea was I gave the quilt to my family last year for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And the idea was that we would pass it around so each person could have it in their house for awesome. a period of a year. But I d decided the smoke would be bad for the quilt. Yeah. Oh, we won't smoke in a room with the quilt. No, 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 no chances. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to mention it because we haven't <clears throat> talked about that on the show either, that cigarette smoke really sinks into fabric. You know, if you are around a smoker or if you smoke yourself, you know, like, you know, clothing can really pick up that scent. And so I don't blame you. I mean, it's, it's hard to not share the quilt in that way, but you said your granddaughter comes over. Yeah, yeah, actually now the quilt hangs over the couch in my living room. And my granddaughter, she's like about two and a half. She comes over and she points to all the pictures and everything. But oh. even when I have my family over for holidays and stuff like yeah. that, we still all gravitate to the quilt. And because some of the pictures are like really old, like my nieces yeah. and nephews here, they're like teeny tiny. They're all in their teens now. So we all look at some of the pictures and we, we just laugh a little. It's what a quilt should do. Yeah. Latanya, I have to say, this is maybe one of my favorite, this is my quilts ever. I love the memories that you've put into the quilt, quite literally with the photographs and, and you said real quick you've been quilting for 10 years, right? Yeah, I've been quilting for like about 10 years and it was my mother who got me into quilting. She was always a sewer. She wanted to take a quilt class, but she didn't want to take it by herself. Sure. I couldn't sew a lick. I said, okay, I'll take this class with you, but that's it. Right. And ever since then, I've been hooked. Well, we hope you have <coughs> many more years of quilting ahead of you and come back on the show anytime. If Thanks. you have me. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching Quilty. We'll see you next time. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, Manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA.